Now, just hang on here. What is that? Is that a swimming bison? It's literally a swimming bison, you guys. What? Do bison even swim? Is this even a thing that happens? And is it just me or are those like two foxes or coyotes either swimming or like walking across the water? What is this? What is going on here? Rosetta, can you believe this nonsense? Because I truly cannot believe this nonsense. I mean, a swimming bison? Is there some way we could use that to our advantage and maybe like hunt it somehow? Because that would be kind of amazing. I think that Rosetta is a little curious about this. Also, who is that? What is that? Is that a coyote coming towards us or is that another wolf? It's kind of hard to see. Oh my gosh, what's going on over here? Who or what is this coming at us? Is this a cougar? It's a bear! There's a grizzly bear coming our way! No, this is ours! This is ours! You can't have this, buddy. Oh my gosh, there's actually a grizzly bear right over here. And meanwhile, there is a bison who's just like wandering off the bottom of the river. This... Look. I'm just gonna say it, this is pretty surreal. We have, we're literally swimming with bears and bison to be able to start off our day here in Wolf Quest 3 with the uh, Generation 4 heiress Rosetta to the Dark Moon Pack, who, wow, I mean, I really didn't expect to see, like, okay, now the bison's ready to fight. He's ready to scrap now that we're actually up top. And that's a mother grizzly bear and her two bear cubs who are just, you know, frolicking in the riverside. Rosetta, let's go home. We have got plenty to go ahead and tell our mate about because that was an extremely weird way <laughs> to go ahead and return to our adventures here with Rosetta. Like I said, heiress to the Dark Moon Pack here in Wolf Quest 3. So welcome back, everyone. I apologize for Rosetta and for Lark's absence for a little bit. I actually was feeling a little unwell and needed to take a small break from our daily Wolf Quest adventures, but never fear because we're back! Joyous, hey! It's been a little while, oh my gosh. I feel like Rosetta's been away like unexpectedly for quite some time. Let's have her actually go ahead and like, can she lick Joyous's face? All right, the puppies are back. Oh, but first we have to say hello. Look, Bee is so happy. She is wagging her tail so hard on seeing her mom that she's practically tripping over herself. Bee and Rosebud, Beaver and Rose Thorn are all over here. Meanwhile, Rosetta is just super duper happy to like see. Here's a little deli. Troyus is kind of keeping an eye on how everything looks sort of weird around here. Let's go ahead and feed little Beaver. Oh my gosh. What an amazingly weird day that was. But yes, yeah, so welcome back, my friends, to our adventures here in Wolf Quest. Like I said, I apologize that they have been missing for a little bit. I just wasn't feeling well and needed to take a few days to kind of rest, recharge, and I am so happy to be back with our wolves. I can't believe how much I missed Rosetta. And look at little Journey. Oh my gosh, Journey has such a light coat. Wow. I really forget about that. When you visit with Lark, Rosetta's cousin, who is the heir, to our wonderful Dawn Moon Pack. His pups are all much darker and take after his mate Cinder. So it's fun to see. Oh, Troyus is playing with the puppies too. Everybody is just so happy to be back together. This is wonderful. I think Rosetta is just like absolutely tickled to be able to be hanging out with all of her puppies too. B seems extremely happy that we're back. Troyus is just like watching over everyone. All right, let's go ahead and see how all the little pups are doing. And, yes, we're getting closer to 10 pounds. It looks like Beaver and Delphi are actually our two leaders of the pack in terms of weight. Rose Thorn and Bee are putting on the weight as well as Journey. And as usual, Rosebud, our itty bitty teeny tiny little Rosebud, the runt, is still struggling to put on the weight, but she does seem sincere about like at least wanting to try, which is really great to see. She's not stubborn, I think she's just tiny. Meanwhile, Rose Thorn, Troyus is like following Rose Thorn around. Rosebud and Bee, I think Rosebud and Bee are really kind of like mama's girls for sure. There you go, little ones. Oh, everybody's just so happy to be together. This is wonderful. Oh, I love seeing the wolf pack reunited. 
It's like when you come home and then like your dog is super happy to see you and it's just the best thing in the world because they, they act like it's the best thing in the world. And isn't that special? Just to know that you're you're wanted by someone that, well, oh no, B wandered off. Literally, I thought it was safe to take a nap and B ended up wandering off. Did she come back? B? Uh-oh. All right, Rosetta really needs to do a lot of territory expansion. Oh, there's B, thank goodness. She needs to do a ton of territory expansion if we're going to be able to keep our pups safe. So let's go ahead and send them inside for the night. Oh wait, never mind. They're they're eating with dad. All right, all right. No, no, no. You can stay out. You can stay out. I'm sorry. We'll go ahead and let Troyus feed them. And then we actually need to do a lot of territory expansion because Rosetta's lifetime challenge is that she cannot look at the map while we are raising the pups uh, in order to, and hopefully we don't lose any pups as a result. But if she can complete that lifetime challenge, it will give her a lot of fame. Okay, Cougar coming. A lot of fame to being a member of the Moon Pack. No, 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 no. Okay, this Cougar was pretty darn bold. It literally dashed straight in there. We're gonna rush straight back. All right, we're having a lot of cougar attacks here, but I feel like Rosetta's like really determined not to let that get her down. Um, holy cow, all the pups are in the den. Troyus, all right, we've got to do a victory howl about that. Holy cow. I, I feel like Rosetta's really scrappy though, and she doesn't want to leave this den until she's literally forced out to. She's not super cautious. All right. Nose to the ground, let's go ahead and she's actually going to set off to do her best to try to really establish and claim more territory, especially since we've had both alphas from, I believe, the Crevice Lake Pack, which we need to rename the Tiny Lake Pack. Huh. They don't have a big lake the way that Rosetta does. She's very proud about the lake that she has as her territory. Uh, and I think it was the, was it the Junction Butte Alpha who came? To visit oh i can't look at the map man that's really hard i was gonna look at the map to try to recall oh look Troyus is with us which other alpha came but we can't look at the map so we're just gonna head straight north and see if we can smell any potential food all right there's coyotes nearby there's one of our scent markers excellent all right there's a bull elk herd nearby we seem to always be struggling. Oh, hey, a little bit of food. Don't mind if I do. We seem to always be struggling just a little bit with being able to find food when we're with Rosetta and we go north, which is one of the reasons I think she doesn't usually come up here. All right. We just want to keep the hex pretty strong. But I feel like she feels a little confrontational. I, I feel like there's just a very young cougar who keeps trying to go after her cubs, or her pups, pardon me. But she doesn't feel threatened by the cougar, which I think is kind of interesting. What's going on here? All right, lucky rabbit's foot and a couple bull elk. We don't really want to mess with the bull elk because they're pretty strong. Troyus really wants to do a lot of work around- Ooh, mule deer! Let's go take down a mule deer! Yes! Oh, there they are! All right, let's go with this one. She was a little slower than the others, which means maybe she has an injury. She's literally leading us through... Okay, the bison. We wanted to make sure we didn't slow down by the bison. Oh, good job, Troyus. Good job. All right. Let's keep... Oh, yes. She crashed into a rock. Very good for us. Bad for her. Good for us. Come on, Troyus. A little help. A little help, Troyus. We're doing really good. And we actually have wandered into the tiny Lake Pack territory. So if we can take her out in this territory, that would be fantastic for us. All right, keep going, Troyus. We don't want to lose the hunt. Oh, they've actually expanded their ter territory like right up against ours. Okay, that's not good. All right, good. And this deer bounced into another rock using the landscape to our advantage. And then there's actually the old den that yes all right that's fantastic i think we're gonna go ahead and eat first and then i think we'll go ahead and howl a little bit of a victory howl 
so that we can take over this area because I can't believe that the tiny lake pack thinks that they're good enough to go ahead and claim what should clearly be moon pack territory. This, I believe, is legitimately right next to our, our den. So we really want to convince the tiny lake pack to back off. All right, Troyus is helping out with the scent marking too. The howling really is what establishes territory the fastest. But I can't believe, like, I think Rosetta really just wants to spend, oh yes, we've claimed it. The vast majority of her time with the, she wants to spend, ooh, wow, there's really a lot going on here. Where's our carcass? Here it is. With the waterways. I think that that is what just has captured Rosetta's imagination. That is what has captured her feeling of adventure is being able to go down to the waterways. So we're gonna spend a lot of time doing that, but we're also gonna come over here and actually our cousin Lark with the Dawn Moon Pack recently had this den flood, but I think it's really exciting that Rosetta has now found it. So maybe the flood has gone away and if we have to move, then we might go ahead and we might move back there. All right, how are the pups doing? Everybody's in the den, good. I think we might go to the north for just a second. And we're gonna let Rosetta claim a little bit more land. She's just feeling, oop, okay, we're gonna not mess with the bears. Not mess with the bear cub. There's a lot going on tonight, what on earth? There are deer afoot everywhere. Yeah, this is really good territory. We don't wanna leave this. We're back in, here we go. Okay, we need to go ahead and put our food down for just a minute. Because we don't want to leave this like prime territory where there's clearly an elk herd nearby. For this ridiculous other pack to claim. Especially because it's really, 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 really close to home. The scent mark is kind of far away, so we're going to see if we can just kind of howl at the edges. Because Rosetta... I, you know, she does like to try to keep her pack safe and keep her pup safe, but she's really proud about being in like her one spot and she really wants to just stay around that lake. Normally I have wolves who are willing to kind of push to the edges of their boundaries. Yes, a little bit more, but I feel like with Rosetta, she actually really, really likes to stay kind of in one spot. And so she really wants to try to defend her home territory and just kind of stick to that spot as a result. All right. And also, Rosetta's kind of tickling me because I feel like she really likes to be fully rested. You know, her father, she saw her father Basil push himself so hard that he was some days just completely exhausted. He would collapse before he would get back to the den at some times. Uh, in fact, maybe that's a challenge we could have with one of our wolves in the future, is if their energy goes all the way down, they have to fall asleep wherever they are because they're just too tired. And I feel like Rosetta might have one of her pups end up being one who's a little bit more inclined to go ahead and get some good rest more often than not. All right. Yeah, we were really particularly close to home for a wolf, like just a few minutes run away. There's our big lake. Yeah, she's just so proud of her big lake. We might do a loop around the lake and make sure that we've claimed territory around it. Cause you know, weird things happen in the lakes. Like watching a bunch of bison and grizzly bears go swimming together. And also we want to chase down those beavers. It's kind of like be beavers, bison, and bears, oh my, swimming in the waters. Okay, there we go. Now how, where's our den? There's our den. Very nice. Yeah, I think she's doing pretty good, guys. I, I would say sometimes some of our wolves are a little nervous when a cougar will continually attack the same den. But again, I just feel like Rosetta loves the waterway and doesn't want to leave it. So we're going to do our best to go ahead and try to stay by its side. All right. And the pups are out. I think Deli is one of our best eaters, personally. And then Rosebud, as our runt, let's go ahead and make sure that you have some food. 
And there we go. I think that they're doing really well, guys. Hopefully very soon they will start to put on more weight and Rosetta will be able to start resuming her hunt for the beavers that she really wants to try to get. Poor Troyus just wants to build like a strong, healthy wolf pack and he really wants to hunt at least one beaver for every member of the wolf pack. We've only hunted one beaver so far, so that's actually quite a bit of a challenge, but I think these two can do it. So alright guys, if you guys could, do please leave a like for Rosetta and her stubbornness to stick to her little cave side den here. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!